Welcome back to my channel. Kumusta kayong lahat guys? Pasensya na super busy lang talaga. Pagdating ng bahay, super tired. <laughs> Maaga pala layas. Anyway, pag-usapan natin ngayon kung ano ang protein. I know you are guys familiar what is protein. Protein guys, these are referred to as a building blocks of life. Every cell in the body contains and made up of 20 amino acids 20 different types of amino acids ano ang ginagawa ng protein sa ating katawan provide energy repair cells ayan stimulate the growth of a new cells promote growth and development sa mga bata teenagers at sa mga buntis ang protein can be found in both animals and non-animal sources. Ang animal sources of protein include meat, poultry, fish, and eggs. Ang non-animal sources of protein naman guys include soy products, beans, ayan, and some grains. The Institute of Medicine nagre-recommend na ang ating mga adults dapat makakonsume ng 8 grams of protein every day. Ayan, kailangan daw. Recommendation ng Institute of Medicine. Kasi ang most na adults natin, kailangan nila ng energy. So, it is highly recommended na they need to take 2 to 3 servings of food rich in protein every day. Ayan. Sa mga matatanda natin, bigyan natin sila ng mga pagkain that rich in protein. Kung sobra or too much naman ang intake ng protein, ano ang mangyayari? There will be an adverse effects. Ano yung adverse effects? Abdominal pain, bloating, diarrhea, eating pattern changes, hepatic complications. Ano itong hepatic complications? Ang hepatic complications, this can lead to surgery. And hypotension, ibig sabihin, mababa ang blood pressure. And lastly, increased workload on the kidneys. If this is very helpful and informative, please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your family and friends and to your community. Thank you and happy Sunday sa lahat. Bye! I miss you guys!